Welcome to Tips and Tricks. Gemsblock is an Apple consultant and we help you with all of your Apple hardware and software needs. Today we're going to deploy a number of iOS devices. In this case it'll be uh, Apple iPod Touches, but it could be iPhones or iPads as well. And we will be preloading an app using the manage distribution method rather than the redeemable codes method that was available in the old Apple configurator. So in Apple configurator 2, it doesn't support the redeemable codes anymore. It supports the manage distribution method. So if we look at Apple configurator 2, we'll see that there's an account menu here. If you go into this menu and choose the first option to sign in, you'll sign in with your Apple ID that you use in your business or education volume purchase program. So we'll just hide configurator and go into Safari and log into that account. So in this case we're going to log into vpp.itunes.apple.com and if you're an education customer you click here, if you're a business customer you click here. If you need help signing up for this program, let us know and we can help navigate that process for you. But assuming that you've got a login for that program, you'll be logged in here and your information will be in place. If you want to look at your purchase history, you click here. You may have to log in again. Go to purchase history. Okay, so you can see in this account, for the older version of Configurator, we had used the redeemable codes method. And we have a number of codes we've purchased and downloaded through here. Now, we have a new process for Configurator 2, the managed licenses process. And you can see the ones that we've purchased recently here. If we want to go and purchase a new one, if it's a repeat purchase, you can click on any one of these, or you could go to the VPP home and search for an app. So in this case, we'll look for one of the apps that we've already purchased, but we'll show you the process here. Click on the app you're looking for. Now with the old configurator, you chose this option here, redeemable codes, and you would download a spreadsheet. That spreadsheet would have the codes. You'd import that into configurator and you could deploy it, deploy it to your devices. That's no longer supported. We're going to go with manage distribution now. So here you choose the amount of licenses that you would like. You review your order. And you click place order. Once you click place order, you'll get a message that you will receive an email saying when the managed distribution license is available. As soon as it's available, you'll be able to deploy it immediately in Configurator 2. Now you can also go into purchase history and check. Once it's listed here, you know that it's available in Configurator 2. Okay, we're going to hide that and go to Configurator 2. Once you're in Configurator 2, the key is just to make sure that you're logged into the same account as you were logged into in your web browser in the VPP iTunes store and those licenses will be available. If you want to check the licenses you can go into the window menu here and go into VPP assignments and the licenses will, will be listed here. So in this case we've deployed to one device so it shows the serial number of the device that it's deployed to. Now the great thing about this is the app is not tied to a specific Apple ID anymore. So now once you deploy this app you can send the device out into the field and the end user doesn't have to know the Apple ID password that you've used to deploy this if they need to do an update to the app. They can just update the app and you don't have to be sending out those passwords. As well, if you want, you can revoke the license to that device. If you want to pull it back into the system, if that user uh, 
doesn't need it anymore or they've left the organization but they're keeping the device you can just pull the license right back and redeploy it to another device this is a good way too as well to deploy apps to users devices if they're bringing their own device now in this case we're going to attach the app to a blueprint and use that blueprint as a workflow to deploy to a number of devices so here we choose blueprints edit blueprints and then we look at the blueprint that we're going to use in this case it's going to be this one here and then here you go into the apps in this case we've already added it but let's say you needed to add a new app click on the plus button choose apps and then the apps that you've purchased in your VPP program in the web browser in the VPP iTunes store will just appear here you just click on it and click add once you do that it will be loaded right into that blueprint you can load multiple apps in there so for example if you wanted to add this one in here it would add that app and in this case the blueprint then would load both apps onto the iOS device if you want to get rid of an app in this case we're just going to load one app onto the devices you select it and then just choose delete I'm going to hit the delete key on the keyboard and it'll ask you if you want to remove the item click remove pulls it back out the licenses are still there they're still available in fact that app we have in a different workflow but they're all ready to go so in this case we'll click done if we look at the blueprint again for some more details on it you can see we've added the organization uh, an MDM server that we're loading it in uh, we choose whether it's supervised or not if it can be paired with another Mac out in the field or PC skip all the startup steps give it an automated name and load wallpaper for lock screen and the home screen we'll have another series on how to set this up exactly click done and now we're ready to connect our devices we have a number of devices here that we've connected through a USB hub and as soon as we plug them in then they will appear we've connected six devices through a USB hub they're all iPod touches and they're ready to be loaded so in this case we can select the devices that we want to load in this case we're going to select all of them and then we choose the blueprint that we want to apply in this case it's the first blueprint so these are really uh, workflows that will load the, the devices automatically we'll select this and the loading procedure will begin Check apply. The devices have all been loaded. You can see they've all been named. We even get a little bit of a preview as far as the lock screen on here. And if we go back into the VPP assignments, we can now see that this app has been loaded and assigned to all six devices. We had one device in there and previously now we have seven total there's a couple of steps on the device itself to accept the configuration from the organization the configurator has pushed out to it but it's really just a couple of taps and then your devices are 100 percent ready to go thank you for watching this demo on how to prepare devices in apple configurator 2 using the managed licenses process rather than the redeemable codes process that was in configurator one if you like this video and find it helpful please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments or suggestions on other topics that you would like us to cover please put them in the comments below and as usual please like comment subscribe and share Thank you.